Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hogs of War. Okay, so two more victories and we will take the island of Hawkshead. Up next we are fighting the French and then we take on the English. I'm going to leave the load screens in because they show some important information and frankly they're just kind of funny, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Morning Glory. Oh man, this game is so dirty. Come on Paul, you can do it. Right, what I plan to do is walk around here. Uh, I'm not going to grab that crate because Paul has some decent equipment so we don't need what's in that crate. I'm going to grab the HP so the enemy can't pick it up and I'm going to try and mine this dude immediately in front of me here onto the minefield. That may or may not work, but we're going to try it, God damn it! Come here, you! Just, just getting precision. Right, that might get him on the minefield. Now, I could just one-shot this guy with a TNT, but instead... I think I'm going to go for their heavy weapons because he's more of a threat, and... He's probably too close to land on this little patch of mines down here, so what I will try and do is angle him towards his other peaks so that they land together, so that when we get a go with one of our heavy weapons, we'll have the opportunity to hit them both at the same time, hopefully. So I'm just trying to knock him into the other pig, really, and I'm going to stand behind this tree for cover. Kaboom! Ah, I think the other dude did land on the mines. I heard an extra explosion. He did not die. That's okay, he's heavily injured. Right, so this guy's almost certainly going to try and throw a grenade over this hill at our men. He pretty much always does that on this map. He's actually quite dangerous. Because they're all clustered together. <laughs> that guy's called LeConte. <laughs> oh my god, this game. Okay. Heavy weapons next, and as I said, I'm going to try and aim for both of those at the same time. I'm terrible with the bazooka though. Apparently this dude's French as well. Friendly fire! One down! I am an ex-pig. That's the spirit! Only a couple of them left now! Don't you dare touch that crate. And that dude's precariously on the mines. Ah, they're saluting each other. Looks like I blow his own dude up. Oh, okay. To your own country. So it was gonna take him and his friend out. No! No! That was my cover. Yes, Captain. You prick. Okay. I am going to try and pickpocket probably their heavy weapons and I'm gonna grab this crate on the way. And then I'm gonna move all the way back as far as I can in the time limit and try to hit them with what's in this crate. I think it's a mortar. Yes it is. I don't know why, I have a crap memory when it comes to names of like people. It took me like a year to remember the names of the people I work with. But I can remember random crap from 10 years ago in a computer game. Take his bazooka. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to equip the mortar and stand all the way over here. I bad with the mortar as well, just be aware of this. I'm a little bit better with it than I am the bazooka though. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, we don't have much time left. Come on, take the shot! You haven't even got the safety off. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! One of them must be dead now. Oh, come on, 19 HP. Inform ma mère. Inform ma mère. Oh, good shot. <laughs> Look at his face. Don't you do it. Don't you retaliate. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? You better not be blowing up my men over there. Oh, you dick. Your war is now over. Over. Ouch. You uh, yeah. dick. Was it Jake that got hit? I think so. Let's check. Okay, it wasn't Sweaty. Sweaty's full HP and I would have known by his helmets. And it wasn't Jim will fix it. Right, let's go get the HP on this dude because he's clearly the most in need of it. Get out of the water! Go, go, go! 
Right. We don't really have that much time to run all the way around a mine, dude, so... It might be worth me jumping across. So let's equip the TNT, and... Is there a decent place to cross? Not really. Screw it! Banzai! Oh dear. Not good. Not good. Right, we're alive. We're not very much alive, but we're alive. Right, let's mine you in the water. That might kill you. We've got 10 seconds. Go! Let's see if we can finish this dude off. How much HP has he got? I don't know. We don't have the time. Fuck it. Throw it down. Run away! Run away! Please die. 47 HP. 47, yes! The other dude drowned, yes! A minor inconvenience. Double kill. Now we just have to hope that Jake doesn't get finished off, but this guy, he should aim for the dude next to him. They typically will go for the guy closest. You're a dick. One BD beat. Take your time, buddy. Yes, sir. Right, Jim, you're gonna have to fix it. Let's go. Now I think Jim could probably finish this dude off if I don't, you know, completely fuck up the grenade. But just in case I do, I'm gonna heal that dude on the right, whatever his name was. I don't know. Our sniper. That was the sniper, right? I think so. So yeah, I'm gonna go heal him and then try to finish this dude off with a grenade. You can watch the healing animation because it's highly amusing. And the sound. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, he's full HP and you're saluting me because he's a nice guy. Indeed. Yes, direct hit. Oh, my teeth are upside down. Is that all of them? Yes. Victory, victory. We gotta play the music a little bit because it's awesome. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, so we got the standard two promotion points. When you get further in the game, you'll unlock more promotion points a mission by doing special objectives like blowing up certain turrets or bunkers and things like that. Okay, we'll upgrade Paul for now because he's our most important member. We don't have enough points to upgrade anyone else. Okay, I cut out a load screen because it was kind of taking forever. But I basically, don't think I should be here. yes, you should. Basically, we're on the last mission of Hogshead, and we're against the English. That's all you missed. And once we take this, we'll get a little cutscene saying that we've taken over Hogshead. Hogshead, and um, yeah, right. So first of all, we want to mine this dude, hopefully into the water, and then go grab the HP over here. Otherwise, he'll come and get it. Typically, the enemy won't come and grab HP unless they're severely injured, but sometimes they do. Uh, that box over there is a sniper in disguise. Let's grab this HP as well, and then I'm going to TNT the box. The box will actually cushion some of the blow, but he will still take the bulk of the damage, and that will at least get him out of the box, because he's actually quite a threat up on that hill. Boom. Okay, uh, because we've upgraded Paul, our engineer, he now has shrapnel grenades. What they do is you can detonate them to do a grenade blast, and also shrapnel comes out in all different directions. You can hit your own dudes with that, so you've got to be careful. Bang. Ha, that's sort of you. Leave Jim alone, you dick. You want me, sir? Oh yeah, I want you sweaty. Shrapnel grenade is particularly good for taking out things like turrets, because if you can land the blast directly on it, you can actually get the shrapnel to all hit it at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, you'll see coming up. Not in this mission, but eventually you will see. Let's try and blow this knobby dude up, you bastard. Immediately. Immediately. 
You know what, considering that was a bazooka shot, I'll take it. Uh, and when we upgrade our engineer one more time to the third rank, he will get a super shotgun and a couple of other things. The super shotgun is awesome. Cut this! Cut this! No! Stop it! Super shotgun sends guys screaming across the map. You can send them out of the map, you can send them onto minefields. It's so much fun. And if you, if they're on like a hill above you, you can shoot it under their chin and just send them screaming up into the air. I love the super shotgun, it's by far and away the most fun weapon in this game. Alrighty ho, let's go try and pickpocket this guy because I would love to get his TNT because that's a dangerous weapon. Give it to me. Yes! And you know what, you can suck it back buddy. Go in the water you dick. Run away! Butterfly's gonna get blown up. What? He skimmed across the water like a stone. You cheating son of a bitch. Percy, don't you do it. Don't you do it. You leave my men alone. What the hell are you doing, Percy? Pistol and sweaty. A nice little present. Okay, two of our dudes are nearly dead. This is not good. Sir? Okay, uh, right, we have our other engineer here. Let's... Um, I'm not sure. I think we should go across to this island. We're going to take some damage swimming there, but... It's okay, he's Jake the Snake, goddammit. Right, so we have a medic on this island, and there are heavy weapons over there that just pistoled my dude. Uh, because this guy, uh, the heavy weapons, is probably the most threat, because he keeps destroying our men on the main island. Let's try and get him in the water, try to get him to drown. I don't know if that will work, but we'll try. And then, we will try to send the... In fact, yeah, let's go for Nobby, because we know we can kill him. Nobby. Okay, let's get in the shelter. Go, 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 go. We just got in there in time. Right, that should be Nobby down. And we hit the medic as well. Bonus. Right, so he's dead. Is the other guy dead? Nope, I think he's alive. God damn it. Now this guy should just aim for the shelter. You asked for this. That's why I like getting in the shelter, because you can distract their men on that island, for the most part. Alright, we need to heal up Sweaty here. Right, let's use all our healing hands on this guy, because damn it, he needs it. And he's not going anywhere for a while. We can possibly try and get Jim in a safer position, so... Um... Let's equip our grenade, and I want to finish off this dude on the other end of the island, down here. Uh, but we could knife him. But, in fact, let's not do that because he would explode on us and we can't afford the damage, so I'm just going to rifle him from down here. And hopefully, since we're on the slope of the island, we might be out of range of most people. I hope. Suck it! Hey, Johnny! Incoming! <laughs> Get me out of here! Oh, good show! Let's send them packing! Good show! Right, so this guy should just retaliate. Yep. And that engineer has a lot of HP. Paul is the man. The pick. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Right, let's. Hmm. We will try and mine you down into the water over there. And then, let's run across here and try and get some shit done. I would like to kill that heavy weapons over there, but... Instead, I'm going to swim across to the island. Using these convenient little stepping stones. Uh, and I'm going to see how much HP their medic has. How much HP do you have, sir? 47. Right, so we could kill him, but let's not do that because that will blow the crap out of the shelter. Instead, I'm going to try and shrapnel grenade this dude into the water. Uh, the grenade alone should kill him. In fact, no, he would have one HP left. And I think this is going to be very, very special. I agree. Yes! Excellent work. We'll send them home with their tails between their legs. 
Right, unfortunately, I think their sniper survived. But again, their medic is just going to keep attacking the shelter, so... Don't go out on the moors! But he's not going to be a problem over there. So, let's try and finish off the sniper if I can find him. Where are you? Where are you? He's under the bridge. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my only friend in the city. I Unbelievable! Bastard. That's going to bounce off the bridge, sir. Maximum force. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, and he's only got 10 HP. So on his next turn, he will just die from poison. So we don't even need to worry about him. Uh, how much does their medic... I think their medic still has uh, 47. So let's try and poison their medic, because there's not much else we can do with this dude. Right. Maximum force. Torpedo away. Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Hey, there's a HP box. Thanks. He'll just die of... He'll just die of poison shooting that thing. But, let's make this a bit more interesting. Let's mine... In fact, let's punch you. Because that won't kill you. And then you can die from poison on your next go. And so will the other dude. Because I'm a dick. Timber! I think you get this crate for killing the sniper. I think it's not actually for blowing up the bridge. But you do get, sometimes you get airdrops for blowing up certain things. But I think in this specific level it's for killing the sniper. Right, so now I could just let the medic die of poison. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's not drown. Uh, but instead, I'm going to pick up this crate and try and kill him with whatever it is. I have no clue what it is, but we shall try. What are you? Airburst, okay. I've got to be careful with this. I could blow my men up and that would be horrible. Right, he's over there. Let's do it. Oh god, I hope this doesn't kill my man. Let's explode it over his head. I did exactly 7 HP. Victory! So if you thought that was good, you haven't seen anything yet. Super shotguns, super TNT, airbursts, fire rain, airstrikes, katanas, there's jetpacks, there's some crazy shit in this game. It's so awesome. Cutscene. He may look just like you, an ordinary fellow doing his best to win the war. But look again. A cross-section of the enemy brain. Small, isn't it? But don't let that fool you. He's a crafty devil. Just like you, he's a survivor. Trained to live off the land and eat things that would make a billy goat puke. Yes, he'll scoff anything. <laughs> just another weapon in his arsenal. When one of these sweeps down the trench, the best thing to do is to go for your gas mask. Excellent! We've taken the island of Hogshead. That was pretty easy, wasn't it, eh? But it's just the beginning. We want to control all of Saustralasia and the valuable swill resources. In We've taken the island of Hogshead. Right, let's upgrade each of these faggots once each. Because I think we have exactly enough. And then hopefully after the next mission we can get pulled to a super shotgun. Which will be fucking awesome. Right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do remember to click the like button if you did enjoy it. It helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you next time for more Hogs of War. I said, WAR!